and welcome to episode number, I don't know, I can't remember what episode number it is, doesn't matter. Um, right, so we're going to continue with our uh, turtle mining robot. Uh, we left off last time, let's see here. We've done left, right, oh, we move forward of course, so we're now keeping track of our coordinates while we move. Um, we still have to go up and down though, so I guess I'll quickly do that now. Get rid of this. Te oh, actually, leave the test. Um, so this is move forward. Right, let's have a move up as well. And a move down. So these are going to look very similar to um, the move forward function. Um, first off, we're going to be changing our coordinate, or the variable at least, the y coordinate in this case. We'll be digging up or down, and then we'll be making sure that we actually do the move, and we'll have a while loop to make sure that if we get stuck, we'll move as soon as we can. So let's change our y coordinate. So our y coordinate is going to be a little bit easier uh, compared to the x and z coordinate, because it doesn't matter what direction we're looking at, uh, if we move up, our y coordinate will always be plus 1. So that's that. Let's have a quick peek at the move forward again. So now we're going to be digging and doing the while loop. Now, because we're going up, we're going to have to go turtle.dig up rather than turtle.dig and then we're going to have moved is equal to false while not moved do turtle.up and better not forget this is important have to go moved is equal to turtle.up to make sure that um, when we have moved, moved will become true and it will skip the while loop after that. So make sure we only move once. So that's the move up function. Move down is going to look almost the same. Minus one. Go turtle dot dig uh, down, I believe it is. I'm just going to quickly type this out, it's almost the same. I wonder whether I should be putting this into one function, um, but can't really be bothered. Okay, there we go. So we now have a move down and a move up function. That look very similar, except um, in move up you increase the y coordinate by one, and you do turtle dot up. Um, and down, it's minus one and turtle dot down. So there we go. So now we have complete moving capabilities. Now over here we're doing move forward. Let's try move up three times. Let's go quarry. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm not printing the y coordinate at the moment. <laughs> Come back down. There we go. So let me add the y coordinate to this uh, print here. Dot dot quotation mark space y is dot dot y chord. 
And we see the Y corner increasing. Oops. And now let's change it to move down. And you'll see it also dig the blocks um, as it goes down, and it also decreases the y coordinates. That's good. Um, we're gonna need these sand blocks, please. Right, so there we go. There we have it. Um, so now we have all of our moving functionality, which is really good. Um, so we can move up, down, forward, uh, and it will change the coordinates for us and everything is completely automated and works. So what we can do now is start to um, make use of this and make some more advanced uh, functions. Um, CD disk, edit Cori. So one thing I think would be the next step is to create a function um, that allows us to go to a certain location. So the turtle, the turtle has its own coordinates that it starts with and then um, what we're going to do is we're going to say go to and we're going to give it an x-coordinate, a z-coordinate and a y-coordinate and the turtle will then move to that position by itself um, and it will also just dig through anything that's in its way. Um, so we'll do that next episode I think. Um, so now we have our basic functionality sorted out um, and I'll see you next episode where we will create some more useful functions that can do slightly more advanced things. So thanks for watching and see you next video.